What if there were more Paradox Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Let's find out. Hey everyone, Brandon here. Since our last video on this subject, the Fakemon community has exploded with so many more Paradox Pokemon. There are a ton that I want to talk about today, but before we get into it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help support this channel and keep up to date with future videos. So first up, by my good buddy Bromo Jumbo, we have Mosaic Scales. This is a past form of Milotic, and it is gorgeous. So much so that Mosaic Scales in the Pokemon world is actually considered to be more beautiful than Milotic and that over the generations mosaic scales lost the luster of its scales and became the less beautiful milotic which is just so much shade on milotic and i just live for it it really lives up to its name though and the scales are so beautiful and vibrant in their coloration i love how it's using its tail like a fan kind of giving off that regality to it bromo put out a ton of paradox forms and this is one of my favorites of them next we have arctic beak which is a past paradox form of octillery i love this paradox pokemon because i definitely feel like octillery deserves some love i mean it's one of the few gen two Pokemon that hasn't gotten any kind of special treatment in later generations like an evolution or a mega form or something I love the coloration of this design I mean the whites and blues against the red and yellow is very pleasing to the eye and giving Octillery a beak instead of like the cannon mouth it has is so intimidating this thing definitely looks like it could wreak some havoc next up we have Iron Watcher which is a future paradox form of beware I absolutely love this design because it reminds me of those like little robot pets you'd have in the early 2000s but where's stuffed animal toy like appearance shifting over to a robotic pet toy appearance just works so well you can see how all of its body parts are more rounded more friend shaped kind of just luring you into a false sense of security before it makes you disappear mysteriously without a trace next up we have iron shroud which is a future paradox form of dragapult this is giving me all the iron man and actually iron heart vibes as well i'm not sure if those were inspirations but they definitely feel like they could be dragapult is already based on a kind of fighter plane so this design works really well into a future paradox form a great detail about this design is the Dreepy and Dracloak that were on Dragapult have turned into these kind of drones, which makes sense. It's like a big robot controlling smaller robots. Very hive mind kind of thing going on there. Next up, we have another past paradox form, and this time it is for Rhyhorn or Rhyperior. I'm not sure. Could be either, could be both. This design looks like it could fit into the Elden Ring universe, and no one would ask any questions. Like, yeah, a half man, half rhino with a giant sword horn totally makes sense for Elden Ring it looks like it's wearing a helmet and has like a little chest piece here too so it kind of plays into a night vibe next up we have another future paradox form and this time it is for Chandelure and it is Iron Beacon the design is just gorgeous and the inspiration makes total sense like of course there would be a man-made version of a chandelier Pokemon that turns into a light bulb we literally did that in real life next up we have barbaric blade which is a past paradox form of aegislash bromo has made like different forms for aegislash in the past and i just love every single one he makes as far as this form goes i love that it's like a more battered and bruised blade that was a little bit of a tongue twister whoops bruised and battered barbaric blade <laughs> i love the idea of shifting the refined steel blade to the past when we didn't really have such techniques to make a really nice sword so this one's a more like crudely done blade next from towel fakemon we have iron zeppelin which is a future paradox form of waylord i love this design so much like taking waylord's design and turning it into this like steampunky blimp like iconic this is something i could see functioning in the pokemon world it's just like a means of getting around like we have pikachu cars in real life so like why can't we have a waylord blimp next up from wings art we have two forms for gastrodon iron slug and primordial pool man primordial pool is hard to say primordial pool primordial pool <laughs> you know when you say a word enough and it just like starts to sound like not a word that's what i'm dealing with right now anyway these designs i really like how their typings mirror each other where iron slug has the water and psychic the primordial pool has the fire and ground each keeping a part of gastrodon's typing iron slug is just like so friend shaped and then primordial pool is this big beastly monster the juxtaposition of these two designs right next to each other is marvelous it was definitely a good idea to put these both in one post i love how iron slug has this like water flowing through it but it's also like the glowy bits of the future paradox forms and primordial pool is just like super spiky and I don't know I just love that next up we have another pair of paradox forms for Genesect by Goompy and can I just say the presentation here is just immaculate 
putting it into this magazine, which I'm pretty sure is a reference to the dubious magazine from the Roaring Moon Dex entry. It's just top tier. Anyway, here we have Iron Pilot, which is a steel electric type. I assume this is just a Genesec that continued to be experimented on. You can see it has drives that change its appearance just like Genesec, but this one's a little bit more deliberate. On top of changing its appearance, it changes its type as well. We got regional forms that had multiple forms with Toro, so this definitely has some merit to it, like a Paradox form that also has multiple forms, especially given that Genesec is already a Pokemon that has those drives that change its appearance anyway. This is just taking it that step further. It is incredibly clever, and I love the mech vibes. And now we have the past paradox form for Genesect, which is called Fatal Sting. I love the coloration here. The pastels that Goompy used are just so pretty. I also love the Galar representation here, like an interview with Carolis, Geoglyphs, and Galar. This one doesn't have multiple forms like the future paradox form, but that makes sense considering it's just supposed to be like a normal actual bug, not some kind of science experiment. The concept of what Genesect looked like before the experiment has been a mystery to Pokemon fans for a long time, and I think this fulfills that very well. Also, its horn looks like a little paintbrush, and I love that. Next, from Max Fakemon, we have Iron Fission, which is a future paradox form of Torkoal. This design is so good, and the shading on it is just perfection. I love how this looks like some kind of vague machine, but then you look closer at it and you're like, oh yeah, that's Torkoal. Like its head looks like a little handle or something like you'd pull down to start the machine or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Also, its eyes look like flathead screws, which I'm not sure if that was intentional, but works really well. One of the reasons I love the fake mod community is that we can give love to these kind of underrepresented mods like Torkoal. Torkoal has been kind of a fan favorite to get some more love. I've seen a lot of evolutions of it or like pre-evolutions to it. And this is a great addition to this bunch. Next up by Nula Draws, we have a past paradox form of Dragonite called Legend Fist. When I say I love this design, I love this design. It takes the goofiness of Dragonite and completely flips it on its head. It's almost like if you put the design aesthetic of Charizard onto Dragonite. Also, the feathery fists and feet that give off this illusion of speed. Feathery fists and feet. That's another tongue twister. I'm just twisting my tongue all up in this video. That's that sounds wrong. But like I was saying, they give off the illusion of speed and kind of like look like an impact, you know, like the spikiness of an impact in like comic books. This is like its own little Pokemon. What if like what if Dragonite was super epic rather than totally goofy? Next up by Sparse23, we have a future paradox form of Barbarical called Iron Berserk. At first, honestly, I thought this was a past paradox form because it looks so vicious. But then you look closer and it's just like sharp steel edges, very like futuristic. It also kind of gives steampunk as well. You can see little iron rivets around this design. The one note that I have is that it's steel dark, which is neither of the typings of Barbarical. Usually paradox Pokemon keep at least one typing from their, you know, future counterpart or past counterpart. I think steel water would probably work for this honestly the design is just great and also i just realized that it's flipping me off do you see that the middle finger is straight up okay sparts i see how it is Jeez, I say you should change the type and then your design's suddenly flipping me off. What the heck? Next up by Alaris and more we have a future paradox form of Chansey called Iron Nurse. This one makes way too much sense. It just it just makes way too much sense. Like a little incubator Chansey Pokemon? Of course, naturally over time, like daycares and Pokemon centers would develop this kind of technology to help incubate Pokemon eggs, but make it a familiar shape like the Chansey that they're so used to using in the Pokemon centers already. If all future paradox Pokemon didn't have the ability Quark Drive, I would imagine this would have flame body also i just realized it incorporates a little bit of happini with its little like hair thing here you guys know i couldn't do another one of these videos without a paradox charizard right this one's called burning worm and it's by bulby boy and this one is probably the most unique i've seen thus far giving charizard an eastern dragon form is just like perfection it also incorporates aspects of mega charizard x which i love this form is a slam dunk on all accounts bulby boy absolutely killed it and it is one of the most epic designs i've seen out of this whole trend but let's give some other kanto starters some love here we have iron plant by ls deva 076 and it is a future paradox form of venusaur i love this concept taking the flowers from venusaur and turning them into solar panels which both harness the power of the sun is just brilliant and makes complete sense lore wise like of course they would make this machine in the form of a pokemon that could absorb solar energy that they can then use in what i assume are their futuristic electric filled cities the lore potential of this mon is just astronomical and i love that also the design is just sick like look how freaking epic this is and on the other end of the spectrum we have the other kanto starter blastoise with a past paradox form which is slashing shell i love that this is a water dragon type usually charizard is the one that gets all the dragon type love which was you know made apparent by burning worm but giving blastoise that same kind of love i would love to see the same thing on venusaur too get a grass dragon type venusaur that would be awesome regardless i love the design of the shell it almost feels like cloister like blastoise in the past kind of had to do a slow us thing where they took cloister shell and used it as their own but it's also given 
having hydrothermal vents like at the seafloor like this Pokemon's signature move could be scald it has like this heat source in its back kind of a play on how dragons breathe fire but instead this one's breathing burning hot water I know I'm kind of making up a bunch of lore for this mod that maybe wasn't intended but honestly when I see this design it just fills my head with ideas which it's my favorite thing when a fake mind can do that and those are some more paradox Pokemon so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time